What is going on YouTube? So PSA has raised their rates again. For like the fourth time in like four months. But what does that mean for getting cards graded with PSA? What are the different levels? And what is my plan going forward? So some of you may or may not have seen this uh, email that came out from PSA came out October 1st. So this is when this, this video is being posted. But this email was sent out basically saying that over the last year they've experienced all this growth. They know that demand has increased and they know that wait times have increased. So here's their plans to address it. So uh, as you kind of scroll through here, and if you want to, I'll try to go a little bit slow. So if some of you that haven't received this email can read it. Basically, they start off um, here with saying they build a new customer communication center to help try to answer any questions. And then they get into the meat of it, which is first off is that they are no longer selling collector's club vouchers. So the video I just posted here a couple days ago, I guess that's useless at this point because you can't um, go in and buy collector's club memberships with the vouchers. So I uh, guess poor timing on that video. But anywho... Uh, with that being sold out, if you do have vouchers, they say they'll still take them. So if you have ones that you haven't used yet, those are still good. But they are currently um, suspending their economy service. So that was the $20 kind of standard service that they had um, because they say that that's got a lot of um, volume going through it. So that service is currently suspended, which is a little tricky because that means that cards that you would have traditionally been a little over $100 or that you want to get back sooner than the value would have submitted under that. Now the, the next level up is $50 a card. So they've really increased that middle level for those who want to get their cards back either in a somewhat decent time or cards that are maybe are valued you know, $300 or something that don't fit into the, the value submissions. For what concerns me the most is the value pricing. That's what I use for almost all my submissions. So they've changed their pricing there. And now they have minimum order sizes of 20 cards for all categories, which I guess would be beneficial for some people that maybe couldn't meet the uh, 50 or 100 level before. But they've increased the pricing. So for Ultra Modern, remember at the beginning of last year, they increased their price from, I believe, $8.50 to $9. I remember I sent an order off in the end of December because I wanted to save that 50 cents. And then what they did was they increased their pricing from $9 here in April to have these different categories for modern and ultra modern. And they made the, the modern cards um, $12 and $15 respectively. So now they're saying that there's no longer a, a $12 price break for submitting ultra modern cards for 100 plus. It's $15 a card. You have to submit at least 20 and the modern card has increased. That was $9 for over 100 cards and $10 for 50 to 100. That's now $12, um, and then the vintage is 10. So this price increase uh, really makes it difficult, especially for those that were submitting larger orders like me that had 100 cards or more, because the ultra modern is going from 12 now to 15 that's an extra three dollars and just a few months ago i was paying nine dollars for those so over the last three months or so it's gone from nine dollars to fifteen dollars which is a huge increase and for the modern cards it's gone from nine dollars to twelve dollars which again another another pretty big increase so going forward that's going to make it a little more difficult uh, for the cards that i send in they continue on with this letter basically to say as far as group submissions are concerned, those should go through the uh, group dealer submission page and you can find dealers close to you. And then they basically talk about with their updates, um, there's three paths for you to take. One is a predictable turnaround if that's most important to you. The other one is if it's cost, it's using the value services. And then third, going through a, a PSA dealer. And that kind of wraps up the letter as far as it stands. So what I'll be doing going forward is I'll still be sending off on the modern and ultra modern value submissions. It, it continues to increase. What that's just going to mean is I'm going to be a little bit more picky in the cards I send, making sure that the cards I send have a very, very good shot of getting a 10 and not borderline 9 or 10. 
and then also just making sure the players um, are the types of players that I want to be sending off and what is that what is that risk reward um, is concerned. As far as my opinions on this, uh, it's a little mixed from a collector standpoint. Um, it's a little difficult just knowing that uh, the prices across the board are going up. As far as a business standpoint, that will uh, increase some of my costs, but as far as the back inside or the, the sell value side is concerned, I think this will continue to increase the value for PSA graded cards, especially PSA graded 10s, because no longer can you go and get a PSA card graded for $6 like you could a couple years ago. And now having that minimum almost $15 for, for ultra modern cards, it's going to make it difficult and I think keep the value on a lot of the, especially what I do, the base graded cards higher because you're not going to go off and just submit a bunch of base cards because it, quite frankly, it just costs too much right now. So the couple thousand cards I have sitting at PSA that are get processed at the old rates, I suppose that's, that's good for me on that business perspective. Um, but again, from a collector perspective, um, it's just difficult paying those higher rates. From a business, as far as uh, shareholder perspective, it's uh, PSA is publicly traded under Collectors Universe uh, CLCT. And if you've been a shareholder in that, you've seen their stock price increase dramatically over the last few months. And I think this will be good for their business overall. I mean, it, technically, I mean, they're really in business, right? So they don't owe it to collectors to keep prices down or to do anything like that. They're in business for their shareholders. They're in business to make money. So if they can continue to have that demand, I don't think we should hold it against them to kind of continue to raise their prices or change around things that are, quite frankly, good for a business. And as a shareholder, you would want them to do so. That's just a quick few minutes of my opinion. Let me know in the comments what your opinion is and what you plan to do on submitting cards to PSA going forward.